Oh no, here we go again. Ah. Okay, so, um, another Fazbear Frights book. We've known this one was going to be coming out soon, uh, but now we actually have the cover for it, and uh, I'm going to talk about it. <laughs> also, I'd like to talk about the description uh, of this book again, uh, because I talked about uh, the description of the last book, and this one seems pretty interesting as well. So, what is this book? Uh, this is Fazbear Frights The Cliffs. Uh, for those who don't know, uh, the series, which was originally intended to have five books, now is going to have at least eight uh, so, you know, I'm gonna have a lot of reading to do. <laughs> I'm not complaining, these books are really good. Um, and this cover was just re revealed, uh, actually, I'm a bit late to this news. Uh, it was revealed about four hours ago, but as far as I can tell, not many other people have actually covered this so far. Except Easter Egg's Cuphead? Well, shout out to Easter Egg's Cuphead for staying on top of the news. Uh, a lot of people have been saying that this looks like the Lonely Freddy, yeah, not quite. <laughs> no, this this is not the Lonely Freddy doll. Um, pretty sure about that. Uh, it seems to be something new. Um, and judging from the story description, which I'll talk about in a bit, it doesn't seem to be uh similar to the Lonely Freddy. Um, the name of the book is very interesting. The Cliffs. Uh, I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean, but I'm sure we'll find out. And it's probably going to be uh utterly tragic. <laughs> um. Uh, but, 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 yeah, let's talk about these book, uh, this book. So, again, the cover is incredible. Uh, the artist, uh, I believe her name is Lady Fizzy? Lady Fizzy? I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but she's made some really good covers for these books, and I'm really excited to see, uh, you know, just how this is going to turn out. As for the book description, let me read it to you. Some things must be learned the hard way. Reed sees an opportunity to teach the school bully not to mess with him, but ends up mangling the lesson. Robert, an exhausted single father, gets a crash course in parenting when he buys a fancy new teddy bear to watch and entertain his young son. Chris, eager to join the science club at school, agrees to undergo a grisly experiment to be accepted. But in the malevolent universe of Five Nights at Freddy's, there's always an education in pain. So, obviously, uh, first things first, I think we can assume that for this book, the cover is actually based on the second story, which is not normal, uh, because the teddy bear we see on the cover is talked about in the second story description, unless there's two stories with a teddy bear, uh, in it, which I find, uh, doubt doubtful. Um, as for the first, first story, I have a feeling we're gonna be seeing Mangle for it, um, just, just, just a hunch, you know, uh, and... For the third, for, for the second story, I'm predicting that somehow the father is going to die. He's going to go off the cliff, or maybe his son will. Someone's going to die and fall off the cliff. I uh, don't know how that's going to connect to the teddy bear. Uh, I I don't know. We'll find out. Um, and then as for Chris, uh, who you know, finally uh, a fast bear fright story about me. You know, took them long enough. Uh, I honestly have no idea where that's going, but I'm excited. Uh, anyway, that's all the news for now. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Also, um, <clears throat> okay, uh, listen closely. I need to tell you something. Turn your volume up if you need to. Okay. Subscribe.